all over the world. We are so glad you could join us, as it's always our privilege to encourage you in the Word of God. So like, share, and let everyone know we're on the air. brings forth transformation. So whenever you it's revealing to your mind who you are in God and who God is in you, then you'll have a transformation of your mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind and you'll grab a hold to the word and say, wait a minute, there's greater in he that is in me than he that is in this world. And so therefore, I can have victory. I can't say devil, this means war. Now you need to understand one thing. Everything you need has already been provided. The enemy don't want you to see that. And I hear God saying, if you want it, Come and get it, because he provided everything you need in heaven. That's why Jesus said, pray that thy kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven. Everything that you need has been provided. Oh, nudge your neighbor say, what you waiting for? What you waiting for? What are you waiting for? If you want God to turn your husband around, what you waiting for? Grab a hold to the horns of the other side of God in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that every time I lay my hands on his head, you transform his mind. Welcome believers all over the world. This is Tim and Vicki and you know you are tuned in to hear and be healed and we are so glad to be with you tonight. We want to do some ministering like never before. We want to go in on the enemy today so we really want to just pray. So I don't want to get ahead of myself. Uh, we so thankful for you to join in tonight. We don't count it, uh, take it for granted. We count it a privilege and an honor for mm. even one person that tunes in. So our goal and our purpose is always to minister life unto those that do watch and those that do tune in, tune in. But what I want you to do is I want you to like, share, and you know, tell someone we're on the air and that we're going to minister the word of God tonight and pray as we always do. Mm -hmm. Now, what I want to do before we get started, I want to pray two times. I'm going to pray one time for you and then I'll pray one time for the word. And the reason why I don't want to pray is I want to get you prepared because we definitely want to minister mm -hmm. to your need tonight through prayer. And what I want you to do is I want you to open up to receive, but I want to pray a prayer of protection because the enemy is always lurking, looking for an entrance to get in. Mm -hmm. And so we don't want you to open yourself up to receive from God's word, God's spirit, and then the enemy try to come in and, you know, uh, how can I say it, intercept mm -hmm. uh, the interest in and get you to receive him because, you know, this is... The, this is a story I, uh, we came up on, and it was an actuality truth that a young lady was, and, and I think the problem was she did it in the wrong spirit, but she was trying to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Her husband had already received it, and I think out of jealousy, she wanted to receive the Holy Spirit, but it was in the wrong spirit, and then she opened herself up to receive, and the enemy slipped in, and she received the spirit of an but of the adversary and not the spirit of God. Right. So when I'm asking you to, you know, open yourself up to receive from God, I want to make sure that only God's spirit enter in. Right. So what I want you to do is I do want you to open up to receive because the heart in the ground, uh, the heart which is the, the ground, must be prepared to receive the word of God. And we always go for that good ground, the good soil, whereby the word comes in and plant and take root and produce, therefore, 36 and 100 fold, but we always go for the 100 fold, so that's what we're believing for. We want the optimum, maximum uh, return and results of God's word in your life. The word is supposed to produce. You hear what I'm saying? The word of God is supposed to produce. So, therefore, if you're standing on any promises of God, which are yea and amen, we are looking for the manifestation or the results of that promise being fulfilled in your life. Always look for that. Don't just go in, just hear a word. I need a word. No, you need a manifestation. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you know this old cliche. Oh, I just need to hear a word. No, we we need the word to manifest, right. and so um, that's why when Jesus said, mm -hmm. "Blessed are you," you know, "Blessed are you." The blessing is not that you're going through. The blessing is that you receive. Blessed are the poor, you know, for they share inherit the kingdom. No, 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 no. It's because the the blessing is you you're going to inherit. Mm -hmm. You're going to receive. So where there's opportunity, God always brings provision. And so we always look for God to do those things. So mm -hmm. get prepared to receive from God tonight whatever you need. We're going to be talking about some things that I think is going to hit everybody. And so bring some solutions and some resolution to everyone tonight. So I'm asking you to open up your spirit, but I'm about to pray before you do. 
And what I want you to do is just say, Lord, I open myself up to receive everything from you tonight. And I set my heart as good ground and I intentionally right. receive everything from you and from your spirit and from the spirit of life from you in Jesus name. So Father, I pray right now for yes. those that are about to open themselves up, Thank Lord, to you. receive from you. Hallelujah. I pray a hedge of protection around them that only your word and only your spirit and the spirit of truth enter into not I re renounce and, and resist and hold steadfastly against the spirit of error. I pray for the, against the spirit of bondage, the spirit of the enemy, the spirit of the adversary, that he does not intercept what you are about to do, God, as they open themselves up yes. to receive from you. Lord, no other spirit but your spirit, God, the Holy Spirit, Lord, goes forth into their heart in Jesus' mighty name. So therefore, they cannot receive any other thing, any other word, any other lie, any other spirit except your spirit. And I declare it and decree it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Now their hearts are free and open, Lord, to receive everything from you. Lord, let the eyes of their understanding be enlightened and open tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Let them receive every perfect gift from you which comes from above, Lord. And Lord, you give it liberty tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Lord, we do, Lord, believe and expect, Lord, the manifestation of the word in their life in the name of Jesus. And we yes, pray for it Lord. and give you praise. Yes. Amen. So Amen. I want you to just Hallelujah. open yourself up to receive out, out from God. Mm -hmm. Just say, I want you to repeat these words after me. Say, Lord, Lord, I open myself up. I open myself to up receive to receive everything from you. Everything, every from bountiful you. blessing, every bountiful every blessing, word of promise, every word of promise, the spirit of life, the spirit of life comes into my heart. Comes into my as heart, I receive, as I receive the engrafted, the engrafted uncompromising, uncompromising, powerful word, powerful of, God word of God in my heart. In my heart, and it shall, and it shall be planted. Be planted. I receive it. I receive with it gladness, with gladness, with understanding, with understanding that it will bring forth, it will bring forth a hundredfold, a hundredfold manifest. Manifested result, result in my life in my life in Jesus', in Jesus name, name today today and forever and forever amen. amen so if you believe you receive shout amen amen amen, amen. we're talking about focus amen a focused fight yes. um I uh, I'm a, a firm believer that we are allowing the enemy to do much havoc in the lives of people I see a lot mm -hmm. of people they are wrestling with things and it has become the norm that this is the status quo. We are seeing more and more people getting counseling like never before. Mm -hmm. We're seeing more and more people taking medicine and medication like never before. We're even now getting to the place where we are raising up and employing Christian counselors. And when we just have to realize that we are dealing with people that have been taken captive by the adversary. For I love what the Bible says in Acts 10, 38, how Peter came to Cornelius. And these words were profound. He says, you know how it is said that how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power mm -hmm. who went about doing good, healing all of them that were sick and oppressed of the devil. Let me tell you what the oppression means. Oppression means is the cruel and unjust treatment or control. And the enemy is controlling mm -hmm. a lot of people. He's controlling their mind. He's controlling their heart. Right. He's controlling their emotions. Mm -hmm. He's controlling their relationships. He's controlling their career, just doing, doing things. And then he's doing it subtly, right. subtly with lies, suggestions, mm -hmm. uh, in relationships. You got to be careful of the very words that the enemy speak. And this is the reason why we're talking about a focus fight. Mm -hmm. Because Paul says in Ephesians uh, 6 and 12, and I'm going to let my wife read that, but we're about to get into words, so let me pray and bless the word. Father, yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus Christ of Thank Nazareth, Jesus. we do render ourselves and submit ourselves to you by your spirit. Holy Spirit, you come in and take full control. We totally surrender unto you, unto your suggestion, unto your thought, unto your leading, unto your guidance now. Speak as only you can speak through our lips of clay. We give you praise. Glorify our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you flow out of us, let the words of life come forth like rivers of living water, watering those that need to be watered, Lord. They are open now, God as vessels, Lord, to be poured into the word of God. Saturate them yes. now in the name of Jesus name Christ of Nazareth. Let them receive your word, Lord, in the word of nothing, Lord. Let me not speak anything that is contrary to your will, Lord. May I speak nothing, Lord, that is nothing that is pleasing, but only those things that are pleasing in your sight. For our will is to do your will, Lord, yes. and to do those things that please you. So tonight we declare that the word does go forth. It does have free course. And it does manifest the results of the kingdom. For the kingdom shall be manifested tonight 
in the name of Jesus Christ. And that we pray and we give you praise and glory. Yes. Amen. Amen. For the kingdom of God has come now to you tonight. If you receive it, mm -hmm. God will manifest it to you. Yes. So if you read Ephesians 6 and 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So we hear that, but I, I still don't think we're taking it to heart. We're still not taking it serious. For some, some reason, the enemy is still able to jerk us. And, and when I think about the scripture, I think about the um, interaction with Jesus and Peter. Jesus is expounding and teaching his disciples, and he's telling them all the things that are about to come, how he's going to suffer, how he's mm -hmm. going to die, and how he's going to be raised up. And in the midst of this, this, this uh, discourse, Peter jumps in and rebukes the Lord and says, really not so. Mm -hmm. But he really wasn't paying attention because Jesus laid the plan out. He says, listen, I'm going to go through. I'm going to die. Hey, but the good news is God's going to raise me up again. Right. It's like he never heard any of those things, but, but, but the enemy did. Mm -hmm. He says, no, 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 no. You can't do that. Yeah. Just like the lying, subtle devil he is. He mm -hmm. always comes back and make you question what God says. And that's how a lot of us miss out on our blessings because he takes the promise of God and he twists it. That's why it's called wicked. Wicked means just wicked. Wicked, wicked comes from the word uh, translate to twist. So he always take what God says and he always try to twist it. And you see then what he did uh, with Jesus uh, uh, in, in, the, in the wilderness. Did God say, if thou be the son of God, mm -hmm. do this. Right. If thou be the son of God, for it is written, he's given his angel charge over you. Mm -hmm. He's always taking it and twisted. When he came to Eve, did God say? He's a lying wonder. Mm -hmm. And all he does, as Jesus said, he's the father of lies. He was lying in the beginning. Right. And so that's why you have to know the word so you can say, no, it is written. Mm -hmm. So concerning sickness, when the devil says, you know, it's not God's will to heal everyone. He said, no, it is written with his stripes. I am healed. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know that, then he'll talk you out of it because he'll say, no, nah, yes. that's not for everyone. Mm -hmm. So our fight not, is not with flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. And Jesus saw that. So when Peter said not so, Jesus didn't, didn't respond to Peter. He says, get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. For you care not for the things of God, but for the things of man. Mm -hmm. He knew what was, who was talking to him. And sometimes we're going to have to get some spiritual discernment to say, anytime I hear anything that comes to me, as contrary to the word of God, not to attack that person, mm -hmm. but to attack that spirit and that influence behind it, letting them know, no, I see you. Mm -hmm. I see you. Think about what Paul was going on, and this young lady was vexing him. These are the men of God come to show us we're even more perfect. Mm -hmm. Paul didn't address the woman. He said that, that, that spirit was getting on his nerves, and he addressed that spirit. Yeah. Now, the woman, if you were thinking in the natural, she was saying something wonderful. Oh, these are the great men of God. You know, Paul bearded them up. Mm -hmm. Paul says, no, I, I hear the spirit behind that. Mm -hmm. And he cast out the spirit. And so we're going to have to get a focused fight mm -hmm. and really take to heart that we're not wrestling against loved ones. We're not wrestling against our children. We're not wrestling against our spouses. We're not wrestling against our coworkers. We're wrestling with the spirit. He says, mm -hmm. we wrestle against all of these things. So he says, here's flesh and blood, and here are all these things. Principalities, spiritual wickedness in high places, the root of the dog of this world. We got a whole lot of devils we got to fight. Mm -hmm. And we're not taking it serious because nobody want to say or admit or acknowledge that there are spiritual forces that are wrestling against us and mm -hmm. fighting us. That's right. And so we want to keep it yeah, that is right. carnal and say, oh, that's just, that's just the way it is. And so when people are really battling emotional sickness, mental sickness, the first thing we want to do is say, that's natural, so we are treated with a natural remedy. Mm -hmm. Maybe not so necessarily. It's more spiritual than anything. Mm -hmm. And so as I begin to just think about you know, how to minister tonight and what to minister, the word that just kept coming to my mind and my heart and my spirit was dis-ease. Now, I want to read, I want Vicky to read Matthew 10 and 1. And listen to this very carefully. And when he, and when he had called unto him his 12 disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out 
and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. So he made a distinction between the sickness and the disease. disease. Yeah. And so I think a lot of times we look at disease as just sickness. You know, cancer disease, uh, lymphoma disease, mm -hmm. sickle cell disease. Mm -hmm. It falls in a category for the one purpose. It brings, um, takes away the ease of the person. So when I think about this ease, it covers a whole multitude of things concerning the individual. Right. Whatever takes away that ease is a disease. So it don't always have to be physical, it could be emotional. Right. If you have something that is taking away your emotional soundness, then that is a disease. It's because what? You, you, you don't have any peace. Right. You're, you're, you're stressed out. Um, so mm -hmm. this, so I look at those as two terms, dis and ease. Yeah. Dis is a prefix that, that means not negative or in opposition or opposite. Yeah. When you think about ease, ease is the absence uh, of difficulty or effort. You know, everything is good. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you got a, uh, as they will say, a, on a bed of ease, life is good. Mm -hmm. right. You know, everything is going the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. But then it's when that something tragic happens, it becomes from, goes from ease to dis-ease. Mm -hmm. And so it's not just things that are physical, but it's things that are spiritual, mentally, financially, anything that affects an individual to where it takes away your peace, your joy, your happiness, mm -hmm. it is a, it's a dis-ease. And so right. I want to focus on that because uh, I think we're trying to deal with symptoms and we're not dealing with the root. What's causing the depression? What's causing the oppression? Mm -hmm. What's causing the stress? Mm -hmm. And you can't medicate those things. Right. All you do is subside your emotions, mm -hmm. uh, uh, subside your response, subside your behavior. If you give somebody that's bipolar medication, all you're doing is really medicating them to calm them down. Mm -hmm. You're not dealing with the actual root. What we want to do is we want to get to the very root of the thing that's yes, causing Lord. the problem Amen. and get rid of that. And then you'll find out you won't have the symptoms. You get rid of the root, you won't have the fruit. You get that? Mm -hmm. If you get rid of the root, you'll never have the fruit. Amen. The problem is we keep dealing with the fruit and we never get to the root of the problem. And so therefore we can only medicate people. And so when the enemy turns it up, the medication goes up. And before you know, we got people that are drugged out when right. all we really need is to... Uh, uh, get them delivered, get them healed, mm -hmm. and take away the disease. Exactly. Now, here's what we got to do. It says that Jesus called his disciples, and mm -hmm. you notice when he, when he gave them power, it was his word that gave them power. Mm -hmm. And so that same word that he gave them, now it was given to other disciples, and it came down from generation to generation to generation. Mm -hmm. And so that same word of power has now risen up on us that Whoever believe that power works in them. He says, these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils. All these things that we have the authority or power to do or to manifest because we believe in him, believe that he is a son of God, right. believe that he is sent from God, believe that he is the savior, believe that it is his name that every other name shall bow down to, believe that his name is highly exalted, believe that faith in his name will cause things to operate. Mm -hmm. And we that believe in that now have that word in us. And if that word is in us and we abide in him and that word abide in us, then we can do whatever they did. And we have to believe that. So we can say today um, that as Jesus gave the power to the disciples, so does he give it to us today because he did not die, neither is he dead, but he is resurrected and he is sitting at the right hand of the Father right now working with us to confirm his word. He's confirming the very word we're speaking right now. The power is just like it's around us right now in our midst present to begin to do and manifest what we say it can do. And so as we speak the word and those that believe the word, it's like the power comes in and connects with it and it begins to produce the results and then the kingdom is manifested. Mm -hmm. And so uh, you have to understand that the Lord loves you. Amen. And his whole purpose is to manifest the kingdom to you, showing his compassion toward you. Uh, me and Pastor Buller was talking about this, about uh, the, the compassion of Christ. In, everywhere you see 
Jesus, he, listen to me. Jesus was not doing what he did to show people who he was. He knew who he was. Mm -hmm. He did it out of compassion because that was his heart. Mm -hmm. It said, God, it's like they, they had an agreement. Yeah, Jesus and the true. Father had an Thank agreement. You, I love these people. Yes. Not just Christians, not just church people. He says, I love my creation. He says, I am tired of seeing the enemy wreak havoc over them. So therefore, I'm looking for someone who would go. I couldn't mm -hmm. find anybody. And then he looked at Jesus and Jesus says, I'll go send me. Came down wrapped in, clothes, in, in, in flesh. The word becoming flesh, mm -hmm. dwelling among us, going forth and eradicating the devil. Uh, as, as Pastor Well, I was talking about, so it's amazing how that woman came to church every day, every, every, every service mm -hmm. for 18 years. Everybody looked over her and just counted as something normal. And mm -hmm. just the way we do it in church today. Mm -hmm. We see people come in wheelchairs. Oh, that's normal. We see people coming in with epilepsy. Oh, that's normal. We see people coming in mm -hmm. with cerebral palsy. That's normal. We just have a good time. We just praise the Lord. And that person mm -hmm. still has cerebral palsy. We just praise the Lord, magnifying God. And that person still in a wheelchair. And we just count it normal. But Jesus came into the came on the scene and he saw something that was not normal. He said, wait right. a minute, this is a seed of Abraham. This is a daughter of Abraham. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. A daughter of Abraham ought not be in this condition. Mm -hmm. And while everybody was looking around, accepting the fact that this woman was in bondage, he says, not on my watch. Not on my watch. He saw the woman and says, hey, woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Don't you know it was good news to that woman? Mm -hmm. Lord, that was good yeah. news. Somebody finally recognized me. Somebody finally laid eyes on me. Finally, somebody thought about my problem and looked on me. And he called her over to him. All the people that thought that was normal got indignant that he yeah. was set her free. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. like how he got yeah. them all straight. He says, wait a minute. Uh-uh. No, no. Seeing that this woman is a seed of Abraham who all you say is your father. Mm, yeah. Ought she not be loose from this infirmity? Mm -hmm. And so you cannot sit there in your problems, in your issues, mm -hmm. and, de and declare, why is God not thinking about me? Oh, baby, he's thinking about you. He's thought about you 2,000 years ago. Mm -hmm. that, when, 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 listen, when he was on mm -hmm. the cross, you was on his mind. But mm -hmm. I wasn't even born yet. No, no. He, he, told, he told Jeremiah why you was yet in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. I saw you. I called you and ordained you. See, baby, God is in every place at the same time. God, mm -hmm. right, right now, mm -hmm. God is in your future. Yeah. God is in your future, writing mm -hmm. your destiny, causing mm -hmm. things. I have not seen, you have not heard any of in the heart of me, the thing which God had what? Had yeah. prepared yeah. for them that love him. God yeah. is not only, <laughs> he working it out for my good. No, he worked it out for your good. Yeah. If I want to tell the truth, he worked, worked it out, out for your good. For good. It's yeah. already worked out. When you get there, it's our, see a lot of us coming into new problems in God and already worked it out. He says, I won't let anything come on you unaware. He has already established your going, mm. established your going. So your destiny is already laid in God. Mm. That's why it's better for us to just yes, follow him. Yes, the steps yes, of a good man are yes, ordered by the yes. Lord. God ain't just showing you, he ordering your steps. And so if we get into a position to follow him, seek his face, mm -hmm. and know this here, that, that that problem is already solved before I get there. Mm. And so, so don't, don't sit back and let the enemy tell you if God loved you, why are you going through what you're going through? If God really cared, why he hadn't, re why you hadn't received your healing yet? You need to tell the devil this and you lie and wonder. By his stripes, I am healed. Mm -hmm. And I receive every bountiful blessing from yes. the Lord. Amen. And so the disease, you know what? God don't even want you worrying. This is what Jesus said. He says, why take you thought? He was, I don't think he was reprimanding people. He was saying, mm -hmm. listen, it's got good news for you. You don't have to worry. Yes. Your heavenly father you. already know what you have need of. He already got it prepared. But hey, you're focusing on the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You can't get your blessing because you're fighting with folk. Mm -hmm. You can't get your blessing because you're worried about next week. Mm -hmm. You can't get your blessing because you can't see what you can see. Yes. When you should always think about, give me this day our daily bread mm -hmm. and let me worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. I have to have confidence that if I ask God anything, I already have it. Say that with me. I already have it. I already have it's it. It's already done. Yes. So, so that is, 
Now, my thing is to be open Thank to receive Jesus. it Thank in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ of Nazareth. So tonight we want to focus on anything that's causing you a dis-ease and see the Lord's power be present to heal. He says, I'll give you power to heal all diseases. Mm -hmm. I just believe that we're, we, we shouldn't allow the enemy to keep running havoc in people's lives. Mm -hmm. If you have something, uh, I was going through some things, and I think I'm going to be dealing with this as I study this, talking about all the, the negatives of, of, of the spirit. Mm -hmm. The spirit of bondage, the spirit of jealousy, the spirit of divination, all those things mm -hmm. that are on the enemy side. Mm -hmm. And two things I want to deal with first is the spirit of bondage and the spirit of infirmity. That which bring the sickness and that which bring captivity. A lot of people fall under those two spirits that are going forth and manifesting in the lives of people. He's trying to make sure nothing, nothing works in your life, trying to frustrate you, mm -hmm. using people. But see, we got to right. calm down and say, you know what? I don't wrestle against flesh and blood. God has commanded me to love him mm -hmm. and to love his love our neighbor. Yes. So we can hang everything on those things, but the enemy always want to use our neighbor to frustrate us so we mm -hmm. don't love our neighbor. But you got to love your neighbor and hate the enemy because mm -hmm. the enemy is always trying to use somebody. And sometimes he use people that are very, very close to you. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think for mm -hmm. one minute that Peter didn't love Jesus? He loved Jesus with all his heart. He wouldn't have followed him. Right. He loved Jesus with all his heart. But yet in his carnal state, the enemy caught him in the flesh and mm -hmm. used him. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. that's why we have to always be uh, uh, ready. Always, we'll always walk in the spirit so we don't what? Fulfill the lust of the flesh. And so you get to learn that it's more you walk meditating on God's word. Mm -hmm. So if Jesus out of his mouth says, hey, I'm going to suffer. Right. I'm going to die. And God's going to raise me up. Mm -hmm. Peter shouldn't have had no response because that was the word. And if he had to just focus on what Jesus was saying and meditate on that only, the devil could have used him to say what he wanted to say. Right. So let's focus on the word of God and don't say nothing else. So if you're dealing with sickness and you believe in God to deliver you and set you free from sickness and to heal you, you need to grab what he said in his word and that that word that is coming out of his mouth. Because mm -hmm. this, See this here, word right here, as if it came actually out of the mouth of Jesus because it did. Amen. It was just recorded what came out of his mouth. So you had to say, this is, I take, I received this word as if Jesus was sitting here face to face with me and spoke it into my spirit, spoke it into my heart, spoke it into my ear. Mm -hmm. I receive it. Mm -hmm. And so now knowing that you received that word, he says, with his stripes, you are healed. And you receive that. So that's all that matters. That's all I realize. I don't have a but to say. Yeah, I know what the words say, but no, I don't have a but to say. Mm -hmm. All I know is this is the word, yes. I believe it. But you're sick, nevertheless, I believe it. Mm -hmm. But you're in pain, nevertheless, I believe it. Nevertheless, at your word, by your stripes, I'm healed. Mm -hmm. That's all that I meditate upon. That's all that I receive. And that's all that I let come out of my belly. That, I let that river come out of my belly to water me. Mm -hmm. Wash me with the watering of the word. And it's going to keep on speaking this here. And so I can't be moved. But we got to deal with the enemy that keeps on inflicting the pain, inflicting the disease, and inflicting you to say things that you shouldn't say. Every time you say anything that's contrary to the word of God, you need to bind the devil up because he is, he's provoking you to say things that are contrary to the word of God. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you got to cash them out. You got to cash. That's why Paul said we pull down. He said, our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds mm -hmm. and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And so when those thoughts come, those thoughts of doubt and unbelief, we have to pull those thoughts down and say, not so, and speak the word of God. So we want to pray tonight that we address the enemy with a focus fight. It's not you. You're not saying those things. It's the enemy that's influencing mm -hmm. you and inflicting you and provoking you to say those things. Right. You believe God. You believe him with all your heart. Mm -hmm. But every now and then you get in the flesh. Right. Every now and then he, the uh, situation and circumstances beat you down to the point that we just say, hey, uh, uh, help me my unbelief. Mm -hmm. I, I'm caught in a moment to where uh, my hope is deferred. My heart is getting sick. I, I need God to do something. And every now and then, he does something. Uh, I don't know if my son will allow me to tell his testimony, but I'm his dad, and I'm going to tell it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> my, you know, when you're, when you're young and you believe in God and you're walking in God, 
And this even happened for the children of Israel. All of us can testify that we, our hopes, we, we're on fire for God. We're on fire for the promises of God. We believe in God to do things in our life. We're declaring and we're decreeing, we're confessing it. We're bragging and boasting in God. And it seems like when we do those things, the enemy says, oh, yeah. And he tries to come in and he tries to snuff out the very, you know, mm -hmm. life in you. Right. Try to, he, he comes forth with a strong strong confrontation and a strong opposition against you declaring what God is going to do, God, what God wants to do. And every now and then the battle gets fight to where you just like, you kind of lose hopelessness. And so you get in that stage of depression. If you're not, I won't say depression, but it is a depressed state. When I say depressed state, it's because the enemy is trying to press you down. Mm -hmm. And so depression really is a persistent feeling uh, of sadness and a loss of in you know one of loss of interest. You just say, man, what, what's the use? Have you ever said that you're on your way to depression and we need to fight, you know, fight to get out of that thing? When you get to say, mm -hmm. what's the use? You know, I tried this and I tried that, and nothing ever works. You know, I just don't feel like trying. I don't feel like getting up out the bed. I don't feel like going to work. I don't feel like washing my face. I don't feel like taking a bath. I don't feel like doing mm -hmm. anything. You are in a right. state of depression, yeah. and it's not because yeah, uh, uh, that it is something physically and natural, it is something that is causing that to happen. Why? Things that are deferred, the things that you've been hoping for, they, they, mm -hmm. they're not coming to pass. Things are not working like you want it. And right. so we got to find out why things are not working like you want it so we can deal with the root and then that depression will go away. Yeah. And so some people that's with finances, you know, as long as money is good, shoo, on top of the world. But when you start messing with that money and that stress comes upon you, you know, you start thinking like, how are you going to pay your bills? Right. Yes. You know, how are you going to well, keep your house? Right. You don't want to lose your car. Can't pay the tuition for the kids. Can't get nothing to eat. All that stuff coming up on you. And you know, thing, you know mm -hmm. you, you're in a depressed state. Right. So if we start dealing with the suit, the roots, then you, that, 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 that goes away. So you, you get to the place where you, you're, a young, you're a young man and you're, you're trying to conquer the world and see God do things and, and the enemy overwhelm you, but... I always say that God, he understands that we're in a fight. And this is what he promised us. Mm -hmm. He says, I will not let anything mm -hmm. take you unaware. Mm -hmm. And I won't let anything come on you, than you more than you're able to bear. Mm -hmm. And every now and then, God gives us a dose you, of faith. Yeah. I remember the time he told me, Tim, I'll never leave you faithless. Yes, and I, I believe Amen. that he promises that to all the believers mm -hmm. that will hold on and hold fast mm -hmm. their profession of faith. Even in the face of looking like they're yes, going to lose, not about to lose, but yes, going to lose. Yes, and every now and then, Lord. God steps in. So in that case of just standing on the word of God, getting to that place of, in that valley. Now, here's what I want. I want to share this with you. You got to get this. This is a revelation for all of us. You got to get this before I go and tell you with this testimony. Because people are like, oh, tell the testimony, tell the testimony. <laughs> I got to give you this first. Yeah. This is for every believer. And you got, once you get this revelation... You'll understand things by and by, and you'll be able to brace yourself, not embrace, but brace yourself and go through it. Mm -hmm. There are times and seasons. Mm -hmm. So it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit. There's going to be summer, winter, spring, and fall yes. in your life. Mm -hmm. And it is necessary. God told me that it was necessary. So I'm going to tell you like you, like you told me. He says, in your life, there are seasons. There are seasons when things are going to be living in spring. You're going to have spring. Mm -hmm. Everything is coming forth and everything is vibrant and bright. And there's nothing but light. But then yeah. there's going to come a time when fall comes and everything is mm -hmm. going to start getting to the place where it's preparing to die. And then winter comes in when things do die. And then all of a sudden, then you come forth and then you, 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 you I forgot mm -hmm. all about summer when things get real heated up. But those are the phases of the seasons in your life and they must take place because guess what? There are mm -hmm. some things that need to die in our life. Right. If they didn't die, we'll hold on to stuff and we'll just get bigger and bigger and bigger, but we're ineffective, we're unpowerful, we're bogged mm -hmm. down with so much weight, yeah. so much junk. So God said there's right. a season in your life that I have to let death come, not for you, but for the things that, that is involved to you. And so when you look at the, even the animal kingdom, eagles go through what is called a molting stage. And you can look it up and, and, and see what it is. Where old feathers die off, old beaks die off, snakes, they go through a shedding process where old skin uh, mm -hmm. comes off and things come right. in. 
Yes. Every one of us have to go through seasons in our life. And so I think what gets us and we get discouraged and we give up and we lose hope is when we're going through the fall. Some people don't even make it through the fall spirit, the fall season in life. <laughs> But it's the winter that really gets you yes. to it. Says, this is what I really need to do, the cleansing. This is what I really need to take them friends that's getting on your nerve who you love so much and you just can't see them not doing you right. I mean, no matter, no matter how they do you bad, you still holding on to them, trying to make them love you, trying to make them like you. And God says they ain't no good for you. They need to die off and go to somebody else because they may be good for somebody else, but they're not good for you. Everybody's not a bad person. They're just not right. good for you. Yeah. That's right. And, that, and so I don't look at anybody as being bad. You got some friends that are haters. You know, they might be hating you, but they ain't hating everybody. So uh -huh. tell your haters to go to the people that you love and you just keep on living for God. But the, but the, but the winter times in your life is needful that those things do move on, mm -hmm. do die off. Right. And so that when you get ready to come into the spring of your life, you ain't got dead weight holding you down, and now you're unfruitful. You can't produce. You can't multiply because you got still dead fruit mm -hmm. hanging on your vines. Mm -hmm. Those things got to fall off. So God mm -hmm. allows us to go through winter seasons in our life so those things can die out of us and that you can come forth a full, clean, mm -hmm. vibrant, fresh, full of life. Uh, uh, um, uh, what's got a uh, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, I see. I'm trying to still think about the plants. Uh, 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 um, Coming forth with all this life and vitality uh, mm -hmm. with the newness of life. And this comes in seasons. Now, seasons may be longer mm -hmm. or shorter. Right. I think it depends on us. Some of us seem like we keep going through winter. You want to know why you keep going through winter? Because you won't let some things die. Yeah. If you are continuing to stay in the winter seasons of your life, it is because you keep holding on to things that you know, you know they're not right. I know he ain't, I know Jimmy ain't good for me, but I just love me some Jimmy. Okay, <laughs> stay in the winter. Stay in the winter. Now, when you get to the place where he says, no, God first. Mm -hmm. God is first, then guess what? He's going to say, okay, now it's about time that I let spring come into your life. And so uh, mm -hmm. when we go through those winter times in our life, Paul, the Bible says, think it's not strange when we go through those seasons. Mm -hmm. Because it is a trying of our faith. God is, he is purging you. He's pruning you. He's cutting some things off. And, cutting, and it doesn't make the things that he's taking away from you bad. Hear me. It doesn't make the things that he's taking away from you bad. People are bad. Jobs are bad. It's just not that it's not for you for this time in the season of your life. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to move to the next phase. It's time for you to move to elevate and go to the next level and the next chapter of your life. Mm -hmm. And so we have to go through the winter season so those things can be moved and so that God can turn the page. Come on, say that with me. Turn the page. Turn the page. How many are ready for God to turn the page turn the in page. your life? Turn I'm ready for him to turn the page turn in my life. Page. And Amen. so get ready for the yes, new Lord. season that God's about Lord. re ready to take you through, but please mm -hmm. go through the winter seasons of your life full of faith, mm -hmm. full of uh, uh, expectation, mm -hmm. full of um, looking forward to the spring mm -hmm. and the new things that God is about to do in right. your life. Mm -hmm. So now Jaria was, he, I, he made the testimony, he says, I, I was coming, and I, I, if I can put it this way, I was coming out of my winter. And God hit me just in the right time. I was coming out of my winter. Yes. And God hit him with them. So he's, on, he's into the production and, and, and recording things now. And he's really getting into yes. those things and getting his feet wet and, you know, satisfying his appetite with knowledge. <laughs> and out of thousands, I don't know, I won't say hundreds of thousands of people, he uh, won some recording equipment that was worth $4,500. And you're talking about God putting a pep in your step, baby, coming right in the nick of time and give you something to get your face stirred Amen. back up. That's the God we serve. Mm -hmm. He might not come when you want him, but he's always on okay. time. Yeah, and I like this phrase, God's time is the best time. Say that with me. God's, God's time, time is the, the best time. time. Because guess what? If God yes, give it to you too Lord, early, yeah. you're too ignorant, you're too unlearned, you don't have any wisdom, you don't have any knowledge, you'll squander, you're wasted. But when you, when God says the right time is, he done prepared you for what he's about to give you. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of you, 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 you're so anxious. He said, be anxious for nothing but with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request on to God. Because through prayer and through supplication, with thanksgiving, he's going to give you wisdom while you wait. Somebody say that with me. Wisdom, wisdom while, while I wait. wait. Wisdom, wisdom while, while I wait. I wait.
place. Amen. So that's what you want to do. Why are you waiting on God? Get you some wisdom. Get deep in this word and start studying. Mm -hmm. Why are you waiting on God? Get wisdom. Because he mm -hmm. said, if you don't have wisdom, you can ask God. He'll give it liberty to you and you and, and, and upbraid or not. So yes. while you're waiting, yes. occupy. And it is about get some wisdom while you wait. Yes. And so when you do get what you're waiting on, you know how to use it. Mm -hmm. You know how to use it. You know how to appreciate mm -hmm. it. When you give kids something they don't earn, they don't deserve, and they they they, they, they don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. They ain't tied up, but let it be something <laughs> they don't they, they don't got wisdom on. Yes. They don't spend money on. Oh, oh, you wash your car now, huh? Oh, you you, you mind where you go now? Oh, you mind mm -hmm. who you drive now? Okay. Oh, when I gave you gave it to you, you know it was raggedy and you never washed it and oh yeah. You learn how to appreciate the mm -hmm. thing that God gives you. So God going to give you wisdom before you step into it. So right now, some of you in your winter mm -hmm. because God is getting you to work, trying to get you to get some wisdom. So this whole thing is working. All those things working for your good. Mm -hmm. And that's how you got to look at it. So when you're going through the, that winter part of your life, that winter season of your life, stick your lips back in. Mm -hmm. Square your shoulders and stick <laughs> your chest out and hold your head up and say, hey, winter only lasts for a season. But it is good for me because Amen. I'm looking at the transformation that is going to take place. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rise. I'm, I'm going to go down in death, but I'm going to rise up in the newness of life. And, mm -hmm. and the old Tim, see, you should be being transformed day by mm -hmm. day. You mm -hmm. ought to not to be the same old person you was last month. Mm -hmm. Your mouth ought to be a little more cleaner. Your faith ought to be a little mm -hmm. bit more stronger. Your love for God ought to be a little yes, bit more hotter. Amen. You, I, I know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, all that talking there ought to have been took away some of that ease, that this ease that's off of your mind because the word of God just mm -hmm. been a, that just 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 caused your, your spirit to be lifted up. I mean, this is this is a God that loves me so much mm -hmm. that He would encourage me with the word. Mm -hmm. That wow, wow. I'm learning some things that the things that I've been going through. Has really been for my good. Mm -hmm. You know, when a soldier right. goes through boot camp, I'm quite sure none of them will appreciate it. Drop it, give me 50. <laughs> Don't appreciate that. Run five more miles. <laughs> Don't appreciate it, but I guarantee you when they're on that mm -hmm. battlefield, all that stuff comes in handy yeah. because you got the stamina, now you got the courage, you got the grit, and you're ready to fight and you won't quit. Mm -hmm. So, all the things that we're going through. We have to look at it right. as if these things are building us, building our character, getting us prepared mm -hmm. for the next level, for the springtime, the spring season in our life. That's why Paul said, mm -hmm. be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you will mm -hmm. reap if you faint not. Mm -hmm. now, now, here's something the Holy Spirit just brought to my mind. Mm -hmm. Everybody's season is not spring season. There are some things that are more productive in the winter. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm serious. There yeah. are some more things that are more productive in the winter than in the spring. So you have to look at what is what is your season. So when Paul says, be not weary in well doing for, you know, you will reap if you don't fight in due season. So some people do season is in the winter time. They are more productive mm -hmm. in that phase where they are going through a right. transformation. Mm -hmm. That's when you find them being more powerful, more creative, more efficient when they are going through that phase because now I know how to brace myself. It's, mm -hmm. it's the springtime that gives me trouble because everything is coming at me. New things are coming at me. Mm -hmm. Things that are trying to be life in my life keeps coming at me. But it's when I'm in the wintertime that I can really focus on the things of God and I'm more productive and more effective. And so, so, so don't look at uh, springtime being your season. You have to find out what is your season. And God will reveal those things to you. Mm -hmm. He'll reveal those things to you. But the idea is, in any season you go through, know that it is the purpose for your life. Mm -hmm. It is a purpose for your life. And so that way we don't have to fret over those things. We don't have to be, you know, beat down in the dirt and, and let the enemy use the seasons against us to say, you know, God don't care for you. And so we want to pray for the disease of the things whereby you may be in this. Just that, just that revelation alone about the seasons just kind of broke you out of there. Wait a minute, now I see that this is good for me. Mm -hmm. ain't, that's what, ain't that's what David said? It was good that I was afflicted. Mm -hmm. Right. There's a purpose for everything. Mm -hmm. And so what we have to do is we have to take it and allow God to work it for our good. Because it was in those times where I was tried that I began to trust God. It was in those times that I, tr I was tried 
that I gained my strength in God. It was in those times that I was tried that I got closer to God. It was in those times that I tried, my prayer life got better. It was in those times that I was tried, my, my faith in God got stronger. And I got more, I learned how to be more mature in the things of God in those times. And so everything worked together for my, for my good because I love God and I am the call according to his purpose. And so with those things, we understand that we win. But with so that the scripture may be fulfilled tonight, that he has given us power to cure all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. We're attacking those things tonight and we're dealing mm -hmm. ex especially, specifically with yes, the Lord. enemy. Thank you, Jesus. And we're, our fight is focused on him. Not because you don't have faith. Not because you do the wrong thing. We're going to deal with the enemy. Now, once we deal with him, then you stop doing those things that keep letting him in. Mm -hmm. Listen, beloved, you can't get to the place where you don't like to hear of, of the correction and reproof from God. Right. That's true. If we're not living according to God's word and God's standard, then we have to question our love for God. And there's no way around it. Mm -hmm. Jesus made it plain. And I'm going to say his words. So these are not my words. These are his words. Yeah. He said, if you love me, finish the rest. Keep my commandments. People, <laughs> that was not a suggestion. Mm -hmm. That came from his heart. See, keep. And John says, they're not grievous. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. If you really love somebody, mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do is hurt them or let them down. If That's you really, right. now listen to mm -hmm. me, if you really love someone, yes. the last thing you want to do is to hurt them and let them down. Mm -hmm. I always tell the story, now, I hadn't told in a while, but uh, Vicky's grandmother kept my head on straight. Thank we you, fuss, Granny. We fuss and fight like, <laughs> like, like all fools do. And you know how it is when us, when us fools get tired, mm -hmm. we just want to quit. Mm -hmm. We walk away from stuff that's too easy. Folk, 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 65 mm -hmm. years old, been married 50 years. Talk, talking about getting divorced. Wait, wait, time out. <laughs> it is definitely cheaper to keep her. <laughs> Trust me, you are too old to be trying to start all over again with somebody that can't put up with you. Yes, Lord. My God, if I get that, we get that old, I said, look, baby, we done made the six and we done hung out this long. I'm sorry, we'll be like them mm -hmm. folks that talk about each other like a dog. Set your old grade, step down somewhere. We'd be like that, but we ain't gonna talk about getting on the voice because once it costs money too. <laughs> I need somebody to scratch my back. <laughs> <laughs> so so that don't make any sense to me. That folks get that old and start talking about divorce. Mm -hmm. And so just acting crazy, and every time I act crazy, I think about her her, her grandmother. Speaking of all those swelling words, that woman gave me a name to live up to. Oh, Tim's a good... Every time I want to act a fool, <laughs> Tim's a good man. Oh, Lord. If I, if I, if I act a fool, this woman going to say, Tim, you disappointed me. And I couldn't let her grandmother down. Because we get mad at one another. Mm -hmm. And we want to... Man, I ain't right. studying you. But mm -hmm. I loved her grandmother in a way to where the words that she spoke life over me, I couldn't let her words return into her void. Come on now. Mm -hmm. I just said something. You right. ought to love what God is saying about you to the point to where you can't let his words that he speak over you return into him void. Oh, glory. Hail, hail you. Yes, thou Lord. art highly Amen. favored of God. Hail you, man of God. Hail you, woman of God, thou art highly favored of the Lord. Thou mm -hmm. hast found favor with God and with man. Mm -hmm. Thou art a mighty man of valor. Mm -hmm. Thou art yes. a mighty woman of valor. You can't let those words that God has spoken over you return unto him void by acting crazy, not keeping yes. his commandments. Yes. It's Thank not you, hard Jesus. to keep his commandments. And when you love him like you say you do, then it's not hard to get to the place where you want to disappoint him. That's what Jesus mm -hmm. said. He loved the Father so much, he says, uh-uh. No. My will is to do his will. Mm -hmm. I always do the things yes. that pleases my father. And the relationship that Jesus had with the father, we should have with the father mm -hmm. and have with the son. Mm -hmm. That So I'm saying all this to say this here. Mm -hmm. We get rid of the devil 
Well, we keep letting him come back because we keep rolling in the mud with him, and there's no way you can roll in the mud and not get dirty. There's no way you can take fire into your bosom and not be burned. And we continue to do those things that are contrary mm -hmm. to what he asked us to do. And he looked at us and says, Peter, mm -hmm. lovest thou me? I do. Yeah. Feed my sheep. Peter, yeah. lovest thou me? Lord, you know I do. He said, yeah. feed my lambs. Tim, you, lovest thou me? Yes, Lord. Keep my yes, commandments. Lord. But Lord, I, I just don't like my, my enemy. He says, what did I say? You said, love him. Do you love me? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. I love your enemy. It's not that hard. We have to focus on who we love. And if we can't keep the commandments, if, we can't, if he can't do what he asks us to do, then you know what that means? We love ourselves more than we love him. Right. And he told us that's no, no. Mm -hmm. He says, you can't love anything more than you love me. How can Jesus have the audacity to put that kind of responsibility and requirement upon me? Mm. The scripture says we love him because he first loved us. Mm -hmm. That's how he's able to do that. And he showed his love and proved his love by what? Thank Dying you. for us. Yes. And so seeing that he died for us, ought we not ought to live for him? Mm -hmm. He wasn't just giving you a commandment to show you his authority, mm -hmm. to push you around, to control your life. Mm -hmm. He asked you to do that out of respect right. and out of reciprocation. Tim, I loved you. I proved it. Mm -hmm. I died. And I sent my word. I sent my Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I give you everything you need. Mm -hmm. I've given you my word. Mm -hmm. Lovest thou me? Yes, Lord. Keep my commandments. That's it's right. not a hard thing to do. If I take what I'm asking you to do and what I've done, you fall short every time. But my grace is sufficient mm -hmm. for you. And so if, I, if, if the love of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit is truly in us, mm -hmm. it's, nothing, it's nothing to give our life to him. It's, not, it's nothing hard at all. The reason it's hard is we continue to love ourselves. We love ourselves more than we love him. But I'm telling you, today is your day. Mm -hmm. If you get to the place where you love him more than yeah. you love yourself, you will see there is no good mm -hmm. thing he'll withhold from you. And everything you need from God will be easy to receive at the snap of a finger. Mm -hmm. If I were to declare to you tonight, be healed in Jesus' name. And the love of the Father and the love of the Son within you and bountifulness, you would receive just like that. Mm -hmm. Because you recognize his love towards yes, you. Yes, Lord. Amen. His love towards you, and you'll receive it. And just that love alone will connect with the power mm -hmm. of his spirit, and you'll be set free from that lying, evil spirit mm -hmm. that does not care anything about you, but to provoke you to be yes. disrespectful to the one who died for you. Right. Every time we sin, is the enemy pointing the finger at God and says, look at him. I got control of them. Mm -hmm. I make them disrespectful. I make them disrespect you. Mm -hmm. Come on. The devil should not have that power. We should have so much love for God. We tell the devil, ain't right. no way in the world you can make me disrespect my God. Mm -hmm. There's no way in the world you can make me yeah. bow down to you so. and disrespect my Lord. Never. Mm -hmm. You don't have that right. You don't have that power. I got all the power from him. And I, you know what? Thank you, I Jesus. renounce you now in Jesus' mighty name. Listen, say these, say these words with me. Devil, Devil, I renounce you. I renounce you. I renounce every part of you. I renounce every part of you. I renounce your suggestions. I renounce your spirit. I renounce your spirit. I renounce everything that you promised me. everything that you In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ Jesus is Lord over my life and over everything I have. everything And I submit myself to God. I submit myself to God. I resist you now. I resist you now. Now you flee in Jesus' name. Now you flee in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell them to go. So oh. now we pray Amen. for every disease that's go, that you're mm -hmm. going through, whereby the enemy is trying to take you captive mm -hmm. and take and keep you in bondage. Mm -hmm. That spirit of infirmity, mm -hmm. whereby he's bringing sickness and disease and, and, and poverty mm -hmm. in your life, it ought not be. Right. Are you a seed or a daughter of Abraham or a son of, uh, of Abraham? Mm -hmm. Are you a seed of Abraham? I'm asking the question. You can answer. Yes. Are you a seed yes. of Abraham? I am a seed of Abraham. Seeing that you are a seed of Abraham, yes. you ought to be loose from Every work of the enemy, every oppression, every spirit of infirmity, you ought to be loose from it and say, you know what? Don't ought to be loose. Be loose in Jesus' name. Yes. 
pain, I command you to go and loose them yes. right now Amen. in the name of Jesus. Pain in the back, pain in the yes. knee, pain in the legs, pain in the feet. Be gone now in Jesus', Jesus name. Amen. I bind Glory. the pain of migraine headaches. I bind it in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, you Lord. go right Thank now. Jesus. You have no right yes, in Lord. the bodies, Amen. in the heart, in the mind, the spirit of mm -hmm. God's people. Right. Seen in the seed of Abraham, Amen. they Thank are you, loosed Jesus. from every infirmity every in the name one. of Jesus Christ. And that is, so now Jesus. be free, be set free, be healed, be delivered in Jesus' Amen. mighty name. God yes, loves Lord. you with all his heart. Thank and you, he sent forth his spirit mm -hmm. to set you free. <clears throat> now what Amen. you couldn't do in the beginning, begin to do now. When the enemy says Amen. all that pain in your back, you says, oh, God don't love you. There's nothing going to happen. Don't believe that. No. You yes. better over and touch your back in the name of Jesus. Turn and touch your toes in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Move that back and let Amen. the devil know no, on by his stripes. I am here. You start mm -hmm. wiggling those ankles around and flexing those flexing those toes and mm -hmm. moving those knees and just just believe God and just begin to rejoice and thank yes. Him for Him thank setting you free. Jesus. He died for you. Is it a hard thing for Him to yes. heal you? Yes. No, not thank so. You, Jesus. You that are, are depressed in your mind, the oppression is trying to take over you. you you're discouraged and you're stressed out. I bind that spirit mm -hmm. and the root that's causing that now to go now in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. Thank you, Lord. That's Loose right. you and set you free. Yes, See, who the, who the Son of Man has set free, he is mm -hmm. free indeed. Yes, Lord. And now for the very thank thing Jesus. that is causing thank that you, stress, Lord. causing thank the you, pain, Jesus. causing yes. the oppression, causing the discouragement, mm -hmm. I command it to be gone in Jesus' name. Now, Lord, I'm yes. thanking you for thank you, the Jesus. results. I'm thanking you, Lord, for the remedy. I'm thanking you for the solution. Father, I'm praying right now for finances to come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. And now, open up the windows of heaven, Lord. Do it by, by your grace and by your name, Lord, for your name's sake. In Jesus' name, Lord, open up the windows of heaven. Pour out a blessing. They won't have room to receive, God. And then give them wisdom on what to do, on how to obey, Lord. Spirit, Holy Spirit, speak to them right now. Let them hear only your voice, God, to give them instructions and wisdom on how to come out of this situation in the name of Jesus Christ. And just as you spoke through the man of God, through the widow woman, oh God, telling her what to do, God, for her finances, Lord, do that for them that are listening to me, Lord, that need help in their finances and things that is causing them stress right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let them receive, let them be healed, let them be delivered. For every root cause that is causing disease in the people of God's life that is listening to me tonight, I command them to be free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. And I command that root to be destroyed and yes. quit to, 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 to die and cease right yes. now in Lord. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. That the disease yes. and then all the results and the remedy Glory. of that disease Thank be you. gone in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Every root be dead. Every root wither and die Jesus. in Jesus' name. Now I command the spirit of life Jesus. that is in Christ Jesus yes. to bring forth that which is life, Thank to bring forth Lord. peace, Hallelujah. to bring forth joy. Where there's a spirit of heaviness, I bind it up right now and yes. command it to go. And now let the garment of praise be loosed in yes. the lives of your people in Jesus' mighty oh, name. Yes. Thank you, Pain you cease and you go right now. In the mighty name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Of thank Nazareth. you, Lord. I thank, thank you, Lord, for the oil of joy yes. being poured out on the crown of the head to the yes, soles of the feet of those that are listening tonight. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, give them thank joy, you, Lord, Lord, that Hallelujah. floods their soul thank like a river. You, give them peace that surpasses Glory. all understanding. Yes, Lord. Glorify your thank holy you, child, Jesus, Jesus this day yes. in the lives of all of those that are listening and all thank those that Lord. receive. And I am believing you, Lord, yes, with an expectation Lord. that everyone Glory. receives tonight. Yes. In the name of in Jesus. Name of I Jesus. thank you, Lord, that hope you, Lord. is stirred up. I yes. thank you, Lord, that hope is a place and a foundation of anchor for faith. Glory. That now faith is the substance of things, hope for the evidence of thank things not Jesus. seen. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, thank for you. every bountiful blessing yes. that falls upon your people yes. of God tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for restoring yes. and redeeming yes. life, health, yes. and strength into that Hallelujah. mother. Let her see the way, God. Jesus. Make the way straight, God. Thank Make a way Jesus. out of no way in the name of Jesus Christ for her Thank children. Jesus. For her, God, in the name of Jesus in Christ. And that every Jesus. sickness, as yes, we've been Lord. given authority, we take Jesus. authority of it now and command it to be gone yes, in Jesus' Lord. mighty name. Jesus name. Lord, we love you. Glory. We praise Glory. you. We worship you. Honor you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Father, for glorifying glory, your glory, son, Jesus, Lord. as Hallelujah. only you can. Thank you, Lord. And we give you praise, we yes, give you glory, Lord. we give you reverence. Praise you, Lord. And we're thanking you Thank for what you, you've Jesus. done, what you're doing, you, and what you're about to do yes, in the lives of your people. Thank now you, I pray, Lord, yes. that this word that they have received tonight, Thank that you, they meditate yes, on it Lord. 
all night long, all week long. Let it saturate, God, the very parts of their being that it comes out of their belly like rivers of living water as they respond to the works of the enemy that brings forth evil, wicked suggestions and imaginations, Lord, that they respond back to them and say, it is written in the word of God, though I go through a winter season, it is only for my good that God is making me and causing things to die out of my life that I may rise up in the newness of life when I come into the springtime of my life. I receive all things. All things Amen. work together for me, oh God. Yes. For my Hallelujah. good. Because I am love, I'm a Amen. lover of God Amen. and I'm Amen. called according to his purpose. And Lord, I give you praise give for you it. Praise, in the Lord. name of Jesus in the Christ name of Nazareth. Jesus. We give you praise yes, and honor. Lord. Amen. Yes, amen. Lovest Glory. thou me? Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. Keep my, my commandments. Believe my word. Amen. You abide in me and my word abide in you. Yes. You can ask the Father Amen. what you will. You, you can ask me what you will. Yes, Lord. And it Lord, shall be done Lord. for you. Jesus. Now, this is what yes, I want you to do Lord. as we leave this air. Yes. I want every one of you, not, not in pride, but in sure confidence and love for God, to just lift your hands yes, and say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. Thank for what you, you've done in my life. what you've done in my life. I believe I receive. I believe I receive. Everything. Everything. I need. I need. According to riches. According to riches. And glory. And glory. By Christ by Jesus. By Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. You know we love glory. you and we'll see you Amen. next Sunday. Amen. Glory. Yes.